Hi guys! Welcome to Creative Jewels by Emily. What today uh, we're going to be doing is we're going to be turning this drawing into lifelike flower. Now, what you're going to need is your hot glue gun and some parchment paper. Basically the same thing you would bake cookies on. Now, what you're going to want to do is to draw out this design, place the parchment paper on top, and trace your image. Now, whenever you do that, make sure you draw it dark enough to where you can see on the opposite side because what we're going to do is we're going to be flipping this over and gluing from the other side. So what you're going to want to do is make sure you have enough glue in your hot gun to do this. Okay, so now we're going to start. Take your glue gun. I like to start right here. Just do it very carefully. You want to make your, your petals thick enough to where when you peel this off, they'll stick together. So make sure you make some binding spots at each spot of the glue. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, take your time. You will have glue strings, so don't worry about that. Now, each rose, they don't have to be perfect. Each one, it can be different. You can make it into a different style. This is just an example of what you can do with hot glue. Some spots will be thin because you've got small lines, but that's okay. Just make sure you have binding spots, like I said before, in each spot. Can do, you can also do different type of flowers with the hot glue. I mean, everything turns out pretty good. You just got to have the patience to sit here and do this. There's many different styles. I choose this one because it's easier and the image is uh, a lot larger. I said it just takes some time. And if you have some thin spots in your rose petals, that's fine. Just go back over them. You can go back in and add detail to your rose petals. Almost done.
parchment paper is very loose. You can peel anything off of it, I'm thinking. I like it because after this is dry, this stuff comes off easy as pie. There's no having to pull, tug, or anything on this. It comes completely off this. I mean, you can make your your leaves or petals uh, as big as you want. It doesn't really matter as long as you have the hot glue to make it the size that you want. Alrighty, now is the time that we wait and wait for this to dry. So let's give her a minute and let her dry because that glue I did put it on pretty thick. So anyway. I love this drawing, but you can make it at any, at any time, uh, any style of rose that you want. But I am partial to Beauty and the Beast, and this reminds me of the rose from underneath the glass. So I did a theme of Beauty and the Beast rose. So you can see on the back. Well, we have the hot glue, and that's the original rose. We are almost ready to pull that, but this let's give that just a few more minutes. Try and find something real quick. Let's see, let's see. What I'm going to do is I'm going to paint me this rose, and I am using Apple Barrel Snow White, and then just a acrylic craft paint from the Dollar General. It doesn't have to be perfect. Let's see. Let's find us a paintbrush, shall we? Um, let's use a nice stiff one. Let's see. Let's use this one. I think that would be perfect. Alrighty. I think we are just about dry. Just make sure you make sure it's completely dry. Now you want to take out a corner and gently peel from the paper and your image comes clean off of your sheet. And look at there, you've got your rose. Now you're going to have some spider webs or glue, hot glue webs and we'll have to pick those off because when we start painting that's going to it's going to start stringing along. And you can say if you've missed a spot and you think it's too thin you can gently place it back on your on your paper and just go over that one spot that you missed that you think is too thin and let that dry. And it'll be perfectly fine. Let's get them webs off while we're sitting here. Let's not mess that up. Wouldn't that be just too funny if we we worked so hard on something and then once one small move we messed it up? That would just be bad. After um, or right before the paint dries, I'm going to be adding some some shimmer glitter from uh, your local Dollar General or any any type of glitter would work but I'm a, I'm a big fan of the shimmer glimmer glitter 
You look real pretty. Not quite done yet, but um, I love to paint. I love to create, and this is my most favorite thing in the world. This past weekend was a very eventful weekend. I got to sit and relax with my hun and watch TV, something we haven't gotten to do in such a long time. He works so much, so we try and spend every little bit of time that we can together. And I got to spend some time with him. It just it just felt it felt good to actually sit down and do that. I mean, I fixed him dinner. My goodness, we fixed dinner. I do a cooking show on Saturdays uh, Saturday nights. It's called Cooking with Emily and James Lee. You can find it on Facebook, and I also have two uh, two shows on YouTube. Uh, check me out. Um, if you like this video, subscribe and put your comments in below. Um, I will be doing more videos for you very soon. Alright, let's check this out. Alright, looks like we are dry, guys. Look at that. That is a little bit more structure to it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this out of the way. Move our print out of the way. And I'm going to set this on top of this paper. This is just basically to catch that paint. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pretty palette here. Let's peel that out of there. Because we've got to use that center. Alright. Make sure your paints are a little bit shook up before you start using them. Moves all that stuff around just in case you've got if you've got it settled. All right, what you want to do is just take you a little bit and put it in one of your little bowls or little little things there. And I'm going to mix it with some white. I don't want a straight red rose. I want I want a pink rose. And so that's what we're going to do is we're going to mix these colors together. A little bit of white, a little bit of red, and we're mixing, 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 mixing. It's coming out to a real pretty, pretty uh, pink color. Almost the color of that paper. Look at that, look how pretty that is. All right, now that we have that real pretty pink color, what we're going to do is we're going to just basically start dabbing this paint on the rows on your paper. Doesn't have to be perfect. You can go back in with a darker darker color on top just to give it a little bit more of a depth color. And I will I'll move this to a a different color piece of paper that way you can see how pretty this is turning out to be and actually that little bit of webbing that we left on there is actually giving it just a little bit of character so here we go there's your pink now I want to put a little bit of color to the bottom on our leaf so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of Christmas green apple barrel paint. I know it seems a little backwards, but you know, I'm using my camera. That's the only thing I got, so I'm uh, shaking this up and I'm going to put a little bit out here. A little bit much, but I can put that back in there when I don't use. But uh, I'm going to mix a little bit of white, a little bit of green in, because I don't want it too dark. I don't want the stem too dark. That's a little bit white. All right, now we've got that pretty, pretty green color. I'm going to dab the stem of this rose. And into the leaf. I 
to use acrylic paints because they're very water soluble and they can be easily cleaned up. And they can be easily cleaned out of your brushes very, very nicely. All right. I'm going to put a little bit of this dark green in where the veins of this leaf is. Just lightly go through here. Add that paint. A little bit dark on the leaf there. Like I said, just make it how we, however you would want to let your rose look. Alright, I'm going to add oh, brush. a little bit of dark red to this rose. Maybe give it a little bit of a attitude. Tommy here, my little puppy, playing around in my room here. He loves playing around when I'm in here painting. My little, uh, my little Cooper. He's a little tweeny pug. He's my little guard dog when I'm in here. He's like under my feet, 24/7. It never fails. I, I could, I could, I can't even go to the bathroom without this little puppy following me. He's my little guardian. He left chewing on stuff. I think I've lost three pairs of shoes and a pair of flip flops already with him. But that's okay. They were old anyway. They they could be they could have been chewed up. It's his personal chew toy. <laughs> All right. We are about done, ladies and gentlemen, with this. How pretty that turned out. Alrighty, I'm going to transfer that to a lighter sheet of paper. That way you can see the beautiful colors that it actually turned out to be. Look how pretty. And you can even use the image that you used when you painted. That is so pretty. Look at that. Very, very pretty. And there you have it. Your glue gun rose. And you could add this to a, a picture frame. You could glue it down or paste it down to a uh, white background and just, uh, and you could also do smaller roses around it to give it a rose bush effect. But there you have it, a glue gun rose. If you like this, uh, subscribe and place your comments below. You can find me on Facebook, Creative Jewels by Emily. And uh, you can also look me up, Emily Welda. So I hope you guys are happy with what you've seen. And uh, I, I, you have a good day. And God bless you. Come back and see me. Subscribe.